Fox. Hey, it's Pino Fox, and basically I should load this up after I load the, the uh, this video that I've already shot here. Basically, I gave you this action here, and what you're going to actually factually see right here is I went to the B camera, okay? Which is basically, hang on a second, what I got to do, is, and what we're going to do, folks, is basically I'm going to give you the video that I shot of this here and this here that I just was in with you, and the actual factual is is we have Pleiades nailed down to be pretty much more than likely the meatball that I've been telling you about all the time because basically what there is is there's a star cluster that I'm zoomed in on right now and as I sit here and babble my I ain't fat no more but when I babble my ass off and sit here and you watch the brightness of, that is getting emitted from the Sun in the supergiants and you see the dark little sphere and basically, I'm going to take my cursor and just kind of help you out. And then you're going to sit back and you're just going to watch it play. Basically, it's something like this. And I might even be too small on the back side of it. But there's a big blackness up here. Okay. And what I'm starting to wonder is if we actually have the suns that are up by Pluto and Neptune. If we actually have them showing us right now where they've been able to barely see before. Okay. Now, we know the suns and the supergiants are, there's there's a hundred of them that are bigger than the sun, up to 74 times the size of the sun. There is an object out in space that's 747 times the size of the sun. But if I circled around here, and then I'm going to just move away, and I'm not going to touch nothing anymore, and I'm going to zoom back out, and you're going to realize that the idea that that massive object that I was showing you from, if I think you should be able to click right over here, that there's the meatball. And this is from a very far out shot, okay? Or actually, it's a zoomed in a little bit uh, on Venus, okay? And Uranus, and more than likely, this should be Mercury over here, right here. That little dot right there should be Mercury and that magneticism going down. And you're going to watch this after watching the video that I've already taped of showing you this here, where the idea that you can see the huge electrical flashes in CMEs off of the supergiants, which are 74 times the size of the sun that keep on showering in on this shot and that everything you see here is the sun and probably maybe Alaraf okay and all the other videos have been showing you that pretty much you can tell that the idea is not just the sun shooting that off and even though Alaraf's a hell of a long ways away from the sun pretty much in a big alignment big straight away in the main sequence okay but you can see there's shit coming in here basically electrical static from way out in flipping space okay and then we go back to the, what I've got you showing you here, I think. And yep. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to step down on this after I let this play for about a minute. And you're going to watch that spot, and you're going to see a big darkness there. And what is that? It's a gigantic darkness of something of a planet. Okay, something like Earth. Because the stars in front of it that are there do not make its whatever brighten enough to admit and show a magnetical. And the idea that if is it just floating in space because it's so huge, and the idea doesn't even really need a magnetical line to, uh, well, know when the Hubble takes a shot over, it already has, and they're not really telling us too much, maybe. But to me, this looks like Pleiades to me. And you're going to notice it because basically Pleiades and that meatball pretty much look like mass 45, and I don't really give a shit if I'm right or wrong because the idea that it's, I call it like mass 45 to 55 is what I call all this shit. So we're going to knock down real fast to 200, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. And I've been showing you before. Now you have to realize the massive size of space. Now what this is, is this is B, the backside of what I was showing you on this one here, which is A, ahead. Okay? These satellites are on the ap absolutely opposite sides. Okay? And then this one here is picking up the meatball right in the middle. Okay? And it is ahead. I can scoot down. And you've seen this in the last video anyway. This should be a head, H12A. There you go. Okay? This is all footage from the 4th. Pretty much all this stuff is from the 4th. And you see Jupiter. And more than likely, uh, this is something close to Jupiter that's giving a CME. I've always shown you. I'm just going to keep my cursor here so I don't mess the screen up. You see that, see that CME reactor flare? Because that's a CME that's coming off the sun, the big shit. Okay? And then you see a planet down here. But you don't see the magnetical on it, but you see Jupiter's magnetical, and you've seen Jupiter do it before. And actually, it, Jupiter actually does right now in front of your face here is doing a little bit of a CME, CME reactive flare. 
but it's just not that noticeable because it bites in with the actual CME that's coming across. You see what I'm saying? You see how it lights Jupiter up and then this atmosphere does its little, and we've seen it from a far away distance, like when we see whatever planet that we've got here. And someone can go ahead and make a comment and figure out what planet that is down there. Don't really give a rat's ass right now which one it is, but it actually is doing a CME reactor flare because the CME comes off. Because see, it does it when the electrical magnetism off the sun first gets there. If you watch the clock, it does it, and then the CME gets there. So it feels that electrical when it first comes out. The first milliamps of it, electricians will understand what I'm saying on that. The first milliamps make that flipping atmosphere on whatever planet that is down by my cursor, it light up like crazy. Now what we were doing is we were looking at more than likely what is mass 45 or 55 or whatever the hell you want to call it, because if you sit here and watch this, you can actually also see the same circular before I blow it up. There's a huge mass out there way behind those star clusters that are sitting there, okay? Now, what's wild is this actually what we are seeing up behind Uranus and Neptune and so forth in Pluto because basically, you got Neptune there. So basically, when we're looking across the sky in space, that probably is that mass that we see here when we slide across. And I think I got a little bit lost on this one. Not because I wanted to do it, but probably override. Because I'm showing you shit. But the idea of the Uranus is the back door in the dark. And Venus is actually blocking the sunlight. See how much is collecting of the sunlight right now with its atmosphere and so forth and so on? And yes, that's our South Pole. Not getting much magnetical and everything like that right now. And there's the meatball to the left. Way the hell over there. And then when we look at this, from basically behind... That's more than likely the meatball right there up behind all this shit, okay? Which basically, there's a big star cluster up behind, and basically, that's Pleiades, okay? And that's the big mass of meatball up behind it, okay? Because it's a big old dark spot, keeps on blocking the deep darkness of space on Earth's back door, okay? Because I do believe, I could be wrong on the quote on this, but Jupiter's basically pretty much towards our back door, towards Neptune on the other side on A, and that is our back door for damn sure. But basically, we'll just slide you across, and there's Earth. And that's our ass back door. Because all the sunlight's this dark on the other side of the Earth right now, okay? This is the sunlight side. When this was being shot, when I'll just scroll back down just for the hell of it and show you that the idea, the actual factual, and that's from ahead, and that's your time on the 4th, okay? So whatever was on the back side going through the clock at that time, and then we start getting into the actual physicals of the idea that, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we rotate, which we've always, always known that the Earth rotates to the east, which is this way. So the back blackness is always on our back door, this side here, because there's our back door. And it's not a black hole. It's just the infinite size of space. And there's the meatball, ladies and gentlemen. And it's there, and it's flipping real. And let me zap in on it. And every branch of the military, we love you. And I all of a sudden like a lot of Marines a little bit better than I've actually liked. And I can actually not get away with it, but there are people that do call them. And I'm just going to go, oorah! So this is flipping awesome, flipping footage from the Navy and all branches of the military. Let's zoom in on this shit. We're going to customize it up to our 800 that we can get away with, I believe. There goes 800, and we'll hit enter, and we should zap in, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And we're zapped in on Pleiades M45, okay? That is a big-ass meatball up there, ladies and gentlemen. And basically, that big-ass black meatball, when I pop this down real fast, same footage, we'll knock it down to, like, 150, okay? That is the flipping meatball, and that's the flipping meatball right there on this shot. Same damn thing. There's Uranus, our back door, blackness, but there actually are stars that are supposed to be out here. And what I'm starting to wonder, are those the stars that we end up seeing that they have actually at certain perfect times been able to get these stars that are way the flip out there behind Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto? Then, yeah, remember all the shit that they tried to pull on Pluto? Pluto's a planet, ladies and gentlemen. 
And I can say that because I got a bunch of army brass ass in here right now that love me shooting my mouth and telling the truth about what's out of the house out there in space, ladies and gentlemen. This is actual factual shit, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm shooting from a flipping bar in the middle of who knows where. Try to figure it out. So anyway, you'll see this here one down here. Flashing off to there. There you go. And the idea that it reacts and hits and watch the clock. It reacts to the electrical pulses off the sun and then doing the CME and ALRAF and whatever the hell else is up there by close that I've showed you in the past. That's up there by the sun. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So welcome to space, folks. The U.S. military and your taxpayer dollars are showing you what the hell is actually going on out there in space. You don't actually need an astrologer or an astronomer to tell you what's going on. You can see it for your own tax dollar. Sechi. Love it. The best money we've ever paid. And then let's pop you over to the meatball and I'll just basically work up the last of the footage on this and we'll load both of these videos. I got the other one that's going to come up before this one. And you'll know that. And the sun and the super giants is being blocked by this solar panel right there on the Sechi on one of the Soho satellites. Core 1, 2. There's a bunch of cameras and everything on that one. And we got a lot more satellites in space than anybody really knows. There's a lot of other governments and countries that would want to know everything that America's got up there, but we don't tell them. So watch all my videos. I think I got my link up here, and I'm going to start uploading a deal. Watch all my videos. It's all actual factual truth. No BS. And there's a shitload of volcanoes and earthquake action to be going on in Earth because the idea that where we are in space and our play in stereo, ladies and gentlemen. So watch everybody else's videos also. And find the actual factual truth that you really believe that is the actual factual truth. Because I will never bullshit you. Not one day in my life. Live on, ladies and gentlemen. And enjoy the flipping truth. Now, folks, there's a shitload of actual factual in all these videos. And make sure you make as many comments as you possibly can. Because I can tell that they're blocking comments. And they're also messing with the tickers again. Because basically, I'm not even going to show you. You know my factual actual enough. You should see the 130,000. Yeah, because I unscaped, I pulled some peels on the onion back, ladies and gentlemen. Beano's out there, folks. The word's getting around, and the actual factual truth's getting around. Now, we'll get a video we're going to show you off of the Soho today. Basically, I got it up right up here. I got it off Soho real-time images. I'll pop over to you real fast. I'm going to be showing you this right here. I got it loaded up. And we got what, basically, I'm going to pop back over here. And I'm going to go to this comments here on, actually I got to scroll up. We're going to go to the last video, but you got to watch them all, folks. You got to pop back and forth and even go all the way back to the beginning and everything like that. And just work your way through a little bit at a time every other day or something like that. And basically, we're going to go to a comment right here. And basically, I know my comments are not getting out. Now, I'm not sure if this is the one I was wanting to do, but I think maybe somebody out. Big CM today. So see, somebody's already made one just to... Lately, and I love the Irish. And basically, big CME today, but boom, boom, and that's what I was figuring because the idea of the data was getting cut off. If you go to Solar Artist, it was getting cut a little bit short. And let's go see if we got the video loaded up here now. It should be able to play, and I'll be able to play this again here. Now, what was good about it is I got lucky that it locked up. When you see that blip there, we're gonna see if we can get it to lock up on this blip because that's pretty much basically our huge CME that we got. Well basically either yesterday today's the sixth but today it might have done the same thing again since somebody was saying that but you see this huge cme that happened folks and what we're doing is basically i'm not sure if this is ahead or behind but this is showing the whole actual factual in green but it's not just in green folks every one of these little dots exists and the smallest shit you see here is actual factual probably the size of earth okay Sun's way bigger than the Earth, ladies and gentlemen. Way bigger than the Earth. Now, this is basically a boom, boom image, okay? But you're seeing everything off of this one, and you're not seeing what's on the layers on the other side. Now, I just saw what they blocked. Because that huge brick that I've seen before is going to be in this video if we keep playing, and I'm going to end up having to go back. So, we'll watch it through here, and I'll see if I can pause it. Now, basically, i got to go back and find that right there, because that's what we're looking for. There, right there. And maybe if I can go back a little bit more, there was a huge CME, okay, on the other side of the sun. Whether this was back or forward, I don't even really give it rats at this point if I'm right or wrong on this. This being the back or front side of the sun. But this is pretty damn awesome. This is just before it. 
And, then, and there it is, whammo, folks, and we're going to get a CME majorly. More later.